Five Principles of Successful Courses My name is Max Quiroz from Max and Blue Training and I welcome you to this video. Today, we're going to talk about those five principles of successful courses that have been identified. And who doesn't want to know these principles? So let's dig deeper down and let's see what are those principles. This first principles of instruction were uh, identified by David Merrill, an American researcher, educational expert, and he analyzed many, many courses, many, many educational programs, and to see what characteristics the successful courses had. And he identified five principles, and he called them first principles of instruction. And he said that if a course has this five principles present, the uh, probability of success of that course increases exponentially. So let's see which are those five principles of instruction. The first principle, principle number one, is that the course must be problem-centered. That means it must be developed to solve a real-world, real-life problem that the participants have. If the course doesn't solve a real problem of the participant, then the course won't be successful. And as marketers say, you have to find the, your audience's pain points so that you can give the solution or a medicine for that pain. And if you have the medicine or the solution uh, for that pain, if you make that pain disappear, the course will be successful. So you always have to identify which are the problems that the, your audience is facing and then based on those problems, so design your course so that the course solves a, in the specific problem of your audience. If it does, then it will be a very successful course. So that's principle number one. It should, a course should be problem center, a successful course. The second principle that Merrill identified is activation. He called that activation because what Merrill said is that uh, successful courses activate and make the participant recall or recollect previous knowledge and experiences. And this is very important because since we're working with adults, we know that adults don't come as a white slate, as a clean slate. They don't come with a clean slate. They come with previous knowledge, they come with previous experience, they come with previous emotions, and all that uh, conditions how and how much they can learn. So in order for our content, the content of our course to be learned and to be incorporated, assimilated by the participant, we must activate and recall those previous knowledges. And this is uh, principle number two. So it's very important to activate those previous knowledges if we want our course to be successful. That's the, the second principle. The, the third principle, Mary called it a demonstra demonstration principle. And he said that the content of a successful course demonstrates to the participant how he or she will be able to apply that content or that new knowledge in his daily life, be it professional life, be it uh, personal uh, development life, whatever the context and the content of the course are. If we are able to demonstrate how that content, that new knowledge can be used by the participant in real life, it will improve the possibilities or it will increase the possibilities of success of our course. Now, if you haven't done so, please, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Click on the subscribe button in, in 
and on YouTube. And if you like this video or any of the other videos in our, in our channel, be sure to give them a thumbs up, like them, share them with people that might find them helpful. And most of all, we love to hear your comments. Tell us, have you heard about Merrill's uh, first principles of instruction? Did you know them or are they new to you? What do you think about them? Can you think about any other principle? Okay, so now let's go on to the fourth and fifth principles. The fourth principle is the application principle. And this is very related to the previous one. And it means that in order for our course to be successful, the content or knowledge that we include in our course should be applicable quickly in a real life scenario for the participants. So we must make sure that our content is really, really related to that, to the real life needs of our participant. And remember, we're always working with adults in this, in this instance. So it's very important to know what are the pain points, what are their needs. And if content doesn't help the participant solve that problem or that need, then we must not include it in order for a course to be successful. That's principle number four. And the fifth principle, it's the integration principle. And Merrill said that successful courses provide the participants with different ways in which the participant can integrate that new knowledge into his real life. And this can be through modeling, through uh, guidelines, through checklists, through videos, or whatever means you can find that can show the participant how to integrate that new knowledge and skills into their professional or personal lives. And if we do that, we elevate the possibilities of success of our course. So that's principle number five. And how can we apply them? Well, the first thing that we can do is state and develop high level course objectives. And objectives must be learning objectives that are related to the participant's real life. If we can make that match, if we can develop high level course objectives that are really significant for the participant, we increase the possibilities of success in our course. Another aspect is how we present the course. As we said before, we must demonstrate how the content and knowledge that are included in the course can be applied, can be uh, used by the participant in his daily lives, in his daily activities. So that's an, a must here. And finally, the activities and exercises that we use or include in our courses and programs must be very, very uh, down to earth, very uh, related to real life experiences of the participants in order for them to use them, for them to incorporate it incorporate them into their real life. So that's very important. So those are the five principles of instruction that Merrill, or he called them the first principles of instruction that Merrill uh, that identified. And if we use those principles, we increase the possibility of our courses to be successful. And we, have, we will have more engagement, we will have less attrition, we will have happy customers, happy participants, and they will talk about our courses, they will recommend our courses, and that will take us to a higher level of income from our courses. And that's what we want to do. We want to create life-changing courses that help us be better, help more people, and as a final result, give us a greater income. So if you want to learn more how 
you can do this, how you can multiply the impact of your courses and your income in the same process, be sure to go to the URL that you're seeing on your screen or that's in the description of this video and click on it and register for something great that we have that we are preparing for you. Hope to see you there very soon.